everyone. How are you all? Welcome to the channel. My name is Lorena Victoria. Hope you're doing really, really well. Today's tarot card reading is going to be called The Truth About Your Connection. We're tuning into your person's energies, your energies. Let's see what spirit in the universe have to tell you about what's going on between you both. Today's marker cards are from the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. I love this deck. I've just bought it and I I love it. I love the images. So I've chosen card six, which is self-love for reading number one. Card 41, which says sovereignty for reading number two. And card 16, which says power. And it's the full moon card there for reading number three. I want you to choose your reading from your intuition. And you can use the mark cards for that as well if it helps. Pause the video if you need a little bit of extra time to do that. So yeah, what I'd like you to do now, in a few seconds, I'll give you a few moments there to choose either reading one, two or three. Okay, before I do that, I'd like to thank everyone that's subscribing to the channel right now. Thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. And all of you that is booking private or have been having private tarot card readings with me, thank you so very, very much for doing that and trusting me with your situations. Okay, let's get on with your reading. What is the truth of this connection? Your energy, their energy. Let's have a look what the universe and spirit wants you to say right, wants you to know right now. So reading one, reading two, reading three, you can make your selection. I'll give you a few quiet moments now to do that as well. Hi there, welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number one, which is card number six and self-love, this beautiful lady here. Waxing Crescent Moon. Okay, let's have a look what spirit the universe wants you to know about your connection, the truth of this connection. First of all, we'll get some zodiac signs here for who it's most relevant for, but don't you know, if you, I don't pull out your zodiac sign here, okay, it doesn't mean the reading is not for you, okay, it means that it is, it could be your sign, it could be your person's sign, so let's have a look here, got the card of Aquarius, okay, so your person could, or you could be Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Taurus, Taurus is energy, Aquarius energy, Pisces energy, Capricorn and we'll do one more because I was intending to do six as well and Aries so if those are not your signs of you your person or if it's relevant sun moon or rising don't worry the reading is still relevant for you as well so we're dealing with these signs of Aquarius Taurus Pisces Capricorn and Aries okay if it's not if you find you're not that star sign or your person's not that star sign don't worry the reading is still very much for you okay it's just those energies are showing up today as well that's sun moon or rising by the way if you know your person if your star signs any of those so let's have a look what the what's going on and the truth of this connection let's have a look let's have a look we have the moon here so there's a lot of fantasy going on a lot of deep emotion between you sometimes the moon comes out when someone is trying to avoid a confrontation okay it's like it's too emotional um perhaps somebody either you or your person wants to say something perhaps you want to confront the emotion but it feels like someone's too scared to um come forward with that kind of emotion yeah perhaps you're too scared that you don't want to be upset if you tell this, your person something or vice versa okay we have the fool in reverse that's the card of not being prepared okay so again it could relate to something emotional but it can be mm, what am i getting here spirit is kind of saying to me somebody may have hurt the other one's feelings by something they've said or done okay one more card here. 
we have the emperor we have aries energy as well with the emperor coming out um right it could be that your person has said something not very nice to you the emperor is really capable of deep love so what i'm hearing what i'm hearing from spirit is this person has real deep feelings for you but i feel like sometimes they might come across as arrogant or um um you know they may feel arrogant to you and like like Oh, what I'm getting is that my back has gone straight. So I'm wondering here if this person commands respect and, you know, respect expects. Could be a bit of vice versa. Maybe you're commanding respect from your person, but it's like their word is law. <laughs> that's that's what I want to say. Let me get some more, some rider weights here for you as well. So there's a deep connection between you both, but I feel like somebody is either too scared to get hurt, doesn't want to confront something. It might be as well that someone's not prepared to speak up. It might be that you're, this emperor thinks that everything's okay and that maybe you the, you're the one that wants to speak up or needs to say something. Ten of Cups. The Ace of Swords. So someone is avoiding conflict like the plague. Yeah? The Ace of Swords in reverse is telling me that maybe... Yeah, um, you or your person, um, I feel like it's more you, is trying to speak up to this person. You definitely want to say something, but it's like, do I make a mistake in saying it? Is it the wrong thing to say? Um, shall I tell them how I feel? Is it too soon? You know, those are the energies that I'm picking up here. The magician. So I feel like your person does want something with you. Absolutely. There is a deep emotional connection between you both. So... Um, I feel like sometimes it's like sometimes you hurt for some of you hurt each other with the things that you say because it's so deep this connection you may have known each other for a long time actually with that ten of cups coming out and that magician is it's like maybe you or your person is wanting much more from the connection that's going on at the minute I've just heard okay I just heard the term you know, friends become lovers is what I've just heard. So I don't know if you two were friends once and then it's turned into something or whether you were, um, had a platonic relationship and then it's turned into something that's gone deeper. Um, or some, maybe you or your person is wanting something more of a deeper connection, but it's too scared to venture forward here as well. Ten of Cups is here as well. So I feel like it's like, it's not, it feels like to me, neither of you are going anywhere. But I think there's a, you know, there's bits to sort out or mainly one particular thing that's got to be sorted out. Your person has deep feelings for you. I know that. Deep feelings. But somebody is not saying something in this connection. It's like they're not speaking up enough or you're not speaking up and sort of telling a person, you know, what you want or maybe your person's not telling i feel like your person's quite contented it probably is you that's not speaking up and telling this person exactly what you would like what you'd want to go ahead in this connection because this connection is going ahead with a magician you know that magician is telling me look there's focus here on making this work there's focus here on turning um visions into reality and there's some inspired action going on so there's you know there is something here between you both but more communication i feel needs to be had okay i'm gonna get some oracles for you We have a past life connection. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. This could be a past lives connection going on for, for both of you as well. We have the card of illusion. Avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection. So maybe instead of fantasizing about everything, people need to speak. This is what I'm sensing here. And we have the card of connection. Your connection is eternal and unbreakable. So I said there's a deep, deep connection going on. It goes further than surface level. It's, I think both of you are both very, very invested in each other. But sometimes I feel like going along, um, 
I nearly said going along for the ride. It's like sometimes it's trotting along nicely, but it's like it's like you don't speak. That that's the feeling that I'm getting. More something needs to be said or done. This is what I'm getting here. Whoops. Okay, car's just fallen out. Oh no, I just have to get it here. One second, it's on the floor. Of course it is. We've got the card of worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I'm going to get another one. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And we have you deserve love. You are lovable. So Spirit is saying here, look, you know, if there are some problems, some emotional needs that need to be met, things need to be said. Um, I feel like possibly one of you is, one is contented in the partnership and the, and the other one, possibly you actually, is needs a little more emotion possibly going on. But this is a deep connection with that moon coming out first, I have to say. Okay, lovely. Thank you for listening to this reading today. I hope you got some lovely messages here from it. I hope you got some clarity as well and it resonated with you. If it has, please drop a comment in the description box. Give the video a thumbs up. It'd be lovely to hear from you all. And it helps YouTube YouTube recognize that you're, recon you know, you're interacting with the video. And it does me a favor by pushing it forward. If you'd like any private readings, you can check out the description box below for private guidance. So thank you ever so much. You're very welcome to go over to pile two and three if you were attracted to either one of those as well for more messages. Thank you so much, loves. Take care till next time. Bye bye. Welcome back to your reading, those who chose reading number two, which is card 41 and sovereignty, which is queen of the moon. We'll put this lady over here and we'll start your reading of what is the truth of this connection. First of all, we'll get the star signs that the reading could, could be most relevant for. But if it's not your star sign, sun, moon or rising, please remember that the reading is still very much relevant for you. So we have the star sign of Leo. The Wheel of Fortune doesn't really have a star sign attached to it. So we'll choose another one. Cancer. So we have Leo, Cancer. Gemini. Virgo. Taurus. Pisces. One more, Libra. So, the reading could be most relevant for Leo, Cancer. I forgot, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Pisces and Libra. That could be you, your partner, sun, moon, rising or Venus. Because we're dealing with a love reading here, okay? Let's have a look at the truth of your situation now with... The Tower of the Heart cards. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know what's going on. The card has already flipped over here. As soon as I touched it, we have the moon. Okay, we have the devil energy. The moon and the devil. Wow. Okay, and the hanged man. So we've got some time out going on here, haven't we? So I'm wondering here if... Hmm, there's a lot's happened between you both, isn't it? I feel almost like with that devil, it's almost like a lot of overthinking. Uh, it's gone a little bit obsessional. For some of you, perhaps, they started off as a sexual connection. Or maybe that's what's in between you. We've got the moon, the devil, and the hanged man. The devil came out in the middle. So, um, yeah, there's a lot going on. This is a quite obsessive connection, I have to say, I feel. But... It feels like it's all got too much, okay? So this could be for you, your person. The Hanged Man is a card of suspension, often a card of time out to reevaluate everything and where it's going to go from here, okay? The Moon is telling me there is emotion in this card, but sometimes the Moon comes out when there's 
problems have come up where maybe you didn't expect them to or your person's feeling the same way. Often when the moon comes out when someone's got to trust that gut feeling and the moon also comes out being the first card out here where somebody, either you or your person needs to make these changes um, voluntarily, you know, they've got to want to change or they've got to want to change the connections dynamics. Yeah, so it can't just be about sex is what I'm feeling here, which is the devil energy in the middle. It's almost like good and evil. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. So it's like maybe a person's gone to think about things. Maybe you're thinking about things. Maybe there's a bit of no contact or low contact where you're still in contact, but there's nothing, you know, nothing specific that's coming out right now so the hanged man could be a card of suspension so maybe everything's just halted or stopped at the moment okay let's get your tarot cards and have a look what else spirit wants you to know about your connection <clears throat> queen of wands feisty lady here Queen of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Towers come out. Let me just get one more card for this. You want love. Who wants to restart a connection here? The Ace of Cups here. Mm. I think you're on two different levels. You don't want to lose each other. Um, I'm feeling here. You don't want to lose each other. The Ace of Cups is symbolizing of a, a, some kind of new relationship. So I'm feeling two things. Okay, I have to be honest. You've got the Tower. So some of you don't want to change. Oh, hang on. Some of you, I'm feeling like one person doesn't want to lose the other, but I almost sense that you want to turn this connection into a romantic connection. Okay, so I don't know if it's you, your person, or whether it will, the spirit is kind of telling you, look, maybe this connection is heading for this. Maybe somebody doesn't want this right now, because the tower can be a card of unwanted change and upheaval. So it's like, it feels like spirit is kind of saying, look, it's going to take quite a bit for this connection to turn into something more romantic. You could be on two different levels where somebody's thinking about it. And they haven't come back with you for an answer. But I'm feeling like um, you've got, it's like if you don't get what you want on an emotional level, there may be a time when, I'm going to say it because you've got newness here and newness there. Somebody might be considering moving on from the connection as well. So it might be something, nothing you don't already know. It might be you that's feeling this way, the person that's watching the video, or maybe a person's. Um, not ready for commitment <clears throat> as well. Queen of Wands is a feisty lady. She's self-assured and she's confident. So it might be you that's saying, look, if I don't get my emotional needs from this person, it's not always about sex all the time, or, okay, that's great, but I want more. I feel like it might be you that's prepared to walk away. Yeah, so it's like enough of that. I want to say enough of this, enough of this suspension, enough of the time out, enough of the thinking about it. Um, if you're not, but that those energies are there. It's like if this person is not prepared to meet you there on an emotional level, it might be you that's walking away from this person, I feel intuitively. I talked about voluntary changes. The person's going to want, have to want to meet you as a romantic connection rather than a sexual one is what I feel with this reading okay this is quite specific I know for some of you but it's like this of course this could be a new connection for some of you because I can see newness here in an emotional way but I'm sensing you want the connection to change or maybe you're out that's what I'm sensing is maybe you've had enough and you want to escape it because the devil energy can be obsessional as well yeah, it can be too much going on. It can be overthinking. It, it, it's a card of a sexual energy. But sometimes the devil energy come out when maybe it isn't healthy for you to stay in it. Or maybe this is not, this has become a karmic um, relationship instead where you can't proceed it and you don't know what to do and you can't walk away because you've got that attraction still there. Of course, your person could be feeling the same way as well. It's like, you're sick of, maybe sick of waiting for them to catch up with you. And, you know, if you're wanting a more, a more romantic connection, 
um, and your person's not winning, there's always the time out with the hanged man, feeling sorry for himself and making you wait for things all the time. Perhaps you get fed up there with the Queen of Wands and want to move. Of course, this energy can work vice versa because we're dealing with both energies today, I have to say. Okay, let's get some oracles and see what else is coming out. All right. We have Cupid. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. It could be what you want, of course. So you want that arrow to shoot in the direction, more romantic way. We have moment. Think of a special moment that brought you much joy with your partner. So maybe this is what's going on. Perhaps you or your person is thinking of the moments that you have shared. And they were special undeniably special there is a connection there but is it one that you want right now or one that is healthy is what i'm hearing spirits say we have the card of surprise you may be about to be surprised right okay whoa okay bear that in mind that might be there it might be that something is going to come out of this you know hmm as your tarot reader of course i can't promise that but um because people are people and these are general readings but it feels like to me perhaps some of you are going to be pleasantly surprised i mean it looks like a nice card to me maybe you think that this this person is never going to catch up to you in the in the stakes and you, you might be pleasantly surprised hmm that's coming out let's get some more oracles we have, what did I say about that, that, that passion, that fire energy, twin flame connection, yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So I'm getting those energies of like, it's like, maybe you're two different levels right now, like the yin yang, but it's like you can't stay away from each other either. It's hard to walk away for some of you. It's like maybe you don't want to do that. Perhaps you do want more. Perhaps there is more here for a lot of you. Okay, we've got the card of not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, and there's jealousy too. The girl with the umbrella there. Okay. We've got the card of mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. So a lot of thinking is going on as the time out thing is going on here as well. Hmm. Bit of a mixture of energies, isn't there? I'm feeling that your person is probably feeling the same way as you, but maybe they're not doing anything about it is what I'm sensing. So they're all in that. I keep think, I keep looking at the hanged man. My eyes are going straight there of the timeout thing in the suspension. It's like, you can't let each other go and yet nothing is coming. You know, nothing is happening as well. So you'd like more, yeah, or vice versa. Okay, loves, that's the reason that I've seen for those of you who I've chosen reading number two today. If that's resonating with you, you're very welcome to drop a comment in the comment section. You can give the video a thumbs up. That helps helps YouTube recognize my videos and it helps push that video forward for all YouTubers, not just me. If you're after private guidance, you can check the description box on how to get a private reading with me. If you want to choose reading one of three, if your eyes went to that deck as well or that deck as well, you're very welcome to go there as well. You can look at my playlist there. I've got loads of picker cards on there. Even the old ones are all timeless. So watch out for those too. Thanks so much. I'll be there. Oh, I'll be there. I'll be back really, really soon with another video. Take care till then, everyone. Stay safe. Bye bye. Hello everyone, welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number three, which is card 16, which is power and the full moon. Power. <laughs> okay, what I want to do straight away is choose the star signs that this reading is, the energy is for. But please, if, it don't, if I don't call out your star sign, don't worry. The reading is still very much relevant because you intuitively picked reading three. Okay. So let's see which energies are coming out from <clears throat> the Zodiac for you. This is you or your person. One's just flown out here. We have Virgo's energy. Let's get some more here. Two six cards. Taurus's energy. 
Leo's energy. Double whammy Leo's. So it's very much Leo's energy going on here. I'm choosing six. So do one more. Aries energy. And Sagittarius. We've got quite a lot of fire going on here. Okay, what does this mean? Right, so let me go through them again. And if I haven't called out you or your person's star sign, remember this is um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you know all those, you can just um, put your birthday into a into the internet, any internet program. They'll come out with all of that if you would like to know. Sagittarius is energy. Aries. We've got the double whammy of Leo. Okay, so that's really relevant. Taurus and Virgo. If I haven't called those star signs, don't worry. The reading is still yours, okay? It's just those star signs that maybe have pinpointed that universe wanted you to know right now, okay? Now, I'm going to do what is the truth of the connection let's have a look what's coming out the light guys is terrible today here so i'm sorry if it's a little dark or you can see the camera going in and out i'm doing my best for you all and i really wanted to do this reading for you all as well something is telling me that instead of you know one side of reading i wanted to get the energies of both of you maybe in one reading okay so this is your first card let's see what's going on we have the high priestess the hermit in reverse and the lovers mm, do you know what I'm feeling so strongly I feel like there's things I haven't been spoken about as soon as I saw that high priestess there's something mysterious going on here something even quite secretive we also have a hermit that's gone in reverse okay I'm feeling like something might have to be revealed so I'm wondering here Mm, I'm getting those energies possibly of you, yourself, the person who's watching this video, who needs to say something to your person. It might be something they don't know. Maybe you need to tell them something about yourself or something that's gone on in your life and you don't know how they're going to react. The lover's card is about partnerships, but sometimes the lover's comes out when there's choices about that relationship to be made. It feels like to me that you're strong together as a team. Just by looking at this card of, you hold, of holding hands and Cupid shooting their arrows. So there is something here. But I do feel like the pullback may be coming from someone. Maybe you've got something to say to them. Um, the high priestess can sometimes come out when there's a secret about, especially when you have a hermit being in the reverse. So I'm telling, I'm telling you, I mean... Okay, I feel like you're not telling your person something. Maybe your feelings, an incident, something you've kept from them. But the Herman come out in reverse when someone is saying, look, if I tell them, um, is it a mistake that I'm saying it? If I, I don't want to repeat a mistake from the past as well, and I don't want everything to get stuck, because possibly everything has been going good. Yeah, but it's, I feel like somebody's got something to say to somebody. Now, I presume it's you watching the video, but of course, because we're doing a vice versa reading, it might be your person's got something to tell you So um, as well. So don't like go, oh no, what have they got to tell me? It feels like to me somebody's got something to say, okay? It could be something they have to tell you as well. Um, unless, of course, Spirit's kind of saying, hey, you might already know. You're just waiting for them to tell you. That's why I just felt as well. Let me get some Rider Waite cards for you. See what other messages are coming out the truth this connection are you using your intuition really well right now it's like are you trying to second guess your person hmm high priestess is an intuitive you know there's another psychic card going on the magician two psychic people i don't know if, if some of you out there picked reading number three um it's of course full moon as well so intuition might be really strong your intuition might be strong your person's intuition might be strong they might be picking up on some things from you right now as well on an intuitive level some of you could be empaths as well we have the wheel of fortune in reverse i'm feeling like you don't want to say anything you don't want to rock the boat or because the wheel of fortune in, in a you know in a love reading could be a card of discontentment or 
um, you don't want to upset anyone or you don't, you, your relationship, I feel, is going great. So anything, you don't want anything to spoil it. And that's what I'm getting here. It's like nine of cups here as well. And I feel like you don't want your person to go defensive if you say something or reveal something here as well. Nine of cups can be when somebody's expecting quick results. It's like maybe your person wants to tell you, but you know, maybe you're thinking, you know, if you say something to them, it's like you want this, whatever it is, to be sorted quickly because you don't want to hang on to it or you don't want that anxiety of, you know, them going away to think about it. That That's that's the energy that I'm getting here. So the Nine of Cups, I'm feeling also sometimes the Nine of Cups can come out when someone's being a little selfish or maybe you think, well, if I tell them this, am I doing it for my own ends? you know, to get it off my chest and now this person's got it. But what you, I feel what your person doesn't want or you don't want here is for them to put up this barrier and be defensive about everything. So that's what I'm feeling. I feel like everything's going great, but it's possibly something that you need to reveal, something you have to say to this person or you want to say to this person. Um, or of course, this reading could be vice versa. You don't want them putting up these barriers here. You want, it's going well, you want it to go well, but you're like, if you tell them, you know, will it create a barrier? Will it create defensiveness? Is it going to go well? You know, will it continue to go great? And that's the energies I'm picking up here. Let me get some of these oracles, see what else is coming out. We have a card of emotions. Look deep within your emotions. And when I'm looking at this card, I get that. It feels like to me, Spirit is kind of saying, is this the right time to reveal stuff to them? Or vice versa, of course. But it's like, is it the right, because, you know, is it is it going to be too emotional for you? Can you deal with that if you say what you have to say? deeply so there's some deep emotions going on look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships it's kind of telling you here to think about it you know maybe judge the time as well honor honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger so i do feel when i'm looking at that card of honor it's like you might have this person on a pedestal you know or vice versa or maybe you think this person has got you on a pedestal and you don't want them like anything to knock you off it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? It's like um this you you you're happy that this person thinks well of you and it's like you don't want them to think badly of you or anything like that. Okay? Let me get some more oracle cards. See what else is coming out. Please remember this is general energy, so I'm doing my best to pick up so I'm, a lot as many as you can but as many energies as you can you've all got different situations you see we have clock need time takes time in time cycles time to heal and then progress so spirit i feel spirit with these oracles are kind of saying look hold off until the time is right and when you are really ready to cope with your emotions okay so i'm glad i did your oracles cupid arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting hesitation is going on here the sword and rose clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection and power the sword spirit in spirit is often a communication and a clear communication card um i do feel with your oracles it's kind of saying look you know Get your emotions in check before you reveal it. You know, get prepared or um, make sure you can deal with the emotionalness, emotionalness, if that's a word, of everything before you reveal anything. It's like, don't rush to reveal it. Yeah. Wow. We've got the card of wedding. The situation involves marriage. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. The last card here. Okay, getting to know each other's come out. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. So 
that getting to know each other, it's like, it feels like more. Yeah, you need to know more. That's what I'm sensing, getting to know each other. Of course, it could be something your person is holding back from you and perhaps you feel it or you know it, I have to say with this reading. So that high priestess is often a card of secrets. But it's also a massive card of trusting your intuition. And I feel this is quite an intuitive reading. So I'm wondering how many people out there are intuitives yourself and you, you just get those feelings. Okay, loves, thank you for listening to this reading. I hope I've helped you and given you some clarity here. If you were attracted to reading one and two and you want to listen to that one, go ahead. Have a look at that one as well. Watch the whole video if you want. <laughs> okay, if you're after extra guidance, you can book a private reading with me. Links and how to book are in the description box below, as well as the services that I offer. And um, if you're after more videos, more pick a card videos, you can go further in the past and look at some of my older videos. They're still very much relevant because everything is timeless on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I do a new upload. So thank you so much for listening. It's been a great pleasure to read for you all. Take care till next time. Bye bye.